Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are taking a look at the types of palm trees that I plan on using for the Lego Scarif Mock I announced in the previous video. So I'm also going to teach you guys how to build it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a hose. It doesn't matter what length it is, whatever length you want, the sets are the parts are interchangeable, excuse me. Um, you're also going to need a bush like this. Again, any color doesn't really matter. Um, this is actually going to make a really cool detail on the tree you guys will see in a little bit. You're also going to need these kinds of leaves. Um, I recommend getting different colors. For example, I got some green and I got one tan just to kind of switch up the look and make it a little more realistic. You're going to need five of these actually, even though I don't put four there. You're also going to need this two by two um, plate brown with the circle in the center and the studs on the side. This is going to allow um, the palm trees to be connected safely and sturdily to the tree. And last but not least, you're going to need these little brown cones here. This is, of course, going to form the outside of the uh, tree itself. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your hose and your cone. You want to slide the hose onto the top part of the cone. This is probably the easiest way to do it. This is the most time-consuming part of the entire build. What you're going to want to do is slide it and slide it up until you got about one-third or a quarter um, of the hose left on the top. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get all the cones and repeat that process. And then when you are done putting on the cones, it should look a little bit like this again, leaving about a quarter of um, the hose left. What you want to do is take that bush that we had before and you're going to slide the hose into that little center hole. Um, might be a little hard, you might bend the hose a little bit, but don't worry, that's not a big problem. You want to slide that all the way down until you can't push it down any further. Then what you're going to want to do is take that 2x2 two two plate and slide it on upside down so it interlocks with the bush. This is going to form a sturdy foundation for the bush and also the leaves. Um, what you want to do for this is a little bit tricky. It kind of depends on what you want to do. If you want to leave about half an inch of space left on the top, you can move the bush up and down. And then you're just going to be free to put on those leaves here. Again, try and change the colors a little bit to make it look as realistic as possible. And it could come up like that. Um, no big problem. Just be careful when you're doing that. The next what you're going to want to do is put that cone on the top now. In this instance, you guys are going to see that the hose isn't long enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the bush down and I'm going to make some more room. It's going to interlock just fine like that. Then what you're going to want to do is take that last leaf you have and interlock it with the top of that. Just like so. Then you're going to take this little tile here. It's got a little hole in the center. It's going to be um, a really good foundation for it because the hose is actually going to go inside of that hole. And it's going to be a really sturdy, sturdy tree. And this is what your final product should look like. Also, what, I'm, what I plan on doing is adding a lot of vegetation around the base of the tree. Of course, Scarif is known for their palm trees and the beaches and the vegetation and stuff like that. So I recommend getting some stems, some flowers, and some leaves. Just putting it around the base, not going too crazy, but I want to make it look detailed and look kind of smooth. And of course, you want to cover the entire palm tree all around, make it look pretty nice like that. Now, of course, this is what your final product should look like. I plan on using different variants of these for the mock in regards to sizes and amount of trees and leaves. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hopefully you guys got a little bit of a better insight as to what this mock is going to end up looking like. This week, I should be unveiling a slideshow video of all the pictures from the mock. I should be completing it very soon. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely t check those two videos out on your screen right now. Keep on smiling. I'll catch up with you later. Till then, be good.